All right, let's get deeper. Let's look at Jamez Olawale, just a player, you know. Um, I do know that uh, the scheme uh, for the Cowboys, we talked on that on the last clip. Let's just look at Jamez Olawale, J-O, and, uh, and see what type of player he is. Now, he does have the shiftiness out of the backfield, and these are things that, that I like to see too as well. But um, with that being said, um, I think that he is a complete fullback after looking at film. Uh, even on this play right here, look at the set. Look how many people is in the box. Roll out. And now, the best thing that you can ever do is to stretch the field horizontally, uh, as, as we say, um, east and west. When you have a, a running back threat and they're doing an all-out blitz, you can always have that element of surprise. When you have a fullback that can catch the ball. Now, is he more of a hybrid or H-back? Yes. Uh, let's look at this play right here. Power slam formation. You got the uh, wide receiver alone up top. And watch. Every man got a hat on hat. Pretty much he got one guy to beat and he just leveled the boom. I, I like that tenacity. And uh, can he play special team? Yes. Uh, I saw this play right here. And um, just had to uh, to show you guys, he does have the ability to, cr of course, crash upfield and the wherewithal to, to to block the ball. And and I like that too as well. I mean, turnovers and pump blocks are so special in the National Football League. Let's look at this play right here. Goal line situations. Um, now we call it pilling, and pilling out of the block knocking the opposition over i like that the explosiveness now when he blocks I, I love the fact that he does have that type of uh, uh explosion when he hit the opposition now on this play here alone that was special too as well the hole is wide open but you you see when jamez olawale as we call this a a touch touch your blocker when you're out there, just get in the way. Coach used to say, just get in the way. I don't care what you do, get in the way. And sealing the edge, that's special too as well. Putting the hands, and look at the hand placement on his play. That was everything. Now, shiftiness, we saw that before. He planted his, land, planted his leg and get straight up field, north and south, although he have a little shiftiness. Now, blocking is all about angles and and they, they used to say there's two type of people that you don't want to fight in life people that lay sheetrock all day and people who lay shingles now look at this right here leverage and now 51 horrible uh, approach to the ball you you always want to be able to to be the aggressor on this block and i'm just going to show you guys look good stands but you want to be you want to be the aggressor when you're talking about blocking and 49 dug them out keep look at the legs guys moving the legs up the field those are things that i like to see when you're talking about blocking in the national football league on this play right here just shift this is this is a third down play and and i like the element of surprise i can only imagine when you have ezekiel elliott out there too as well in this in his halfback or uh fullback h-back however you want to call him good block too as well giving up his body sprung the guy free and, and those are things, those small, subtle plays that I like to see out there. And that's what I see. Um, now, catching the ball out of the backfield, we see that he can do that too as well. I, I said that uh, in the last video. When, when you have the ability to catch the ball, the element of surprise, is he going to stay uh, back to block? It keeps the, actually, it keeps the linebackers and the safeties on their toes. You know, when you have somebody with that type of skill set, uh, do I crash upfield? Do I don't? And, and that's that's what he brings to the table. Now, as far as scheme and the things of that nature, we would never know. But it's good to see that we have this on tape so that you know that this guy have the ability to catch the ball out of the backfield, keep the linebackers and safety honest. Shiftiness runs straight north and south. He reminds me so much of Rod Smith. It's just, it's just crazy. And now you just pretty much uh, have two Rod Smiths out there on the field. Uh, they both finish their runs, aggressive, can catch out of the backfield, and uh, just have this strength. Uh, those are things that I like to see too as well, that element of surprise. And I think that uh, with Olawale, the difference between him and Rod is that Olawale wants to be the fullback. 
and Rod Smith wants to be the halfback or, or, or running back. Uh, so we understand that, of course, this move, uh, we, we would just really never know with the coaching staff, but I see a lot of potentials with him. And, uh, and I will admit, you know, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong uh, on this guy. Uh, I, I do see that he's a little bit more versatile uh, than a Keith Smith, and he does explode when he blocks, but as far as lead blocking, it's all about the mentality, and I like, and I, I'm going to say I like Keith Smith's mentality. I like his role in his offense, but this play right here showed me that uh, he can keep his legs turning, block upfield, and, uh, and still approach to the ball. So in conclusion, in closing, um, of uh, Jamez Olawale, I really think that this offseason he's going to get into a um, – Good situ- He's in a good situation, guys. He got he got a decent offensive line that's ahead of him, uh, above average. We understand that uh, the, the Raiders' offensive line was just as good as the Cowboys, according to Pro Football Focus, according to all of the, uh, I guess the, uh, the talking heads out there, right? <laughs> but that's all the time I have for today. I really thank you guys for yours. And remember, are you listening to nothing but the bass? Salute. I'm out. Peace.